Hey guys, I'm Sabrina aka blogger number 4. Our leader Nerva aka blogger number 6 is gonna help me with my second blogical video. What am I talking about on this one chief? We're gonna talk about trust. Trust is something we all deserve by heart and soul especially if we do something wrong including accidents. As y'all watch episode number 15 keep in mind what the rules to trust are. Let's start with trusting rules. Trust isn't about following or liking the rules it's about learning the curriculum of something. That doesn't include rules in public places especially school. Nerve has rules about all her property. One of them is that nobody is to have her things especially her old toys. I bet she has lots of rules to her Wii. That's right Sabrina. Let's review these specific rules. It's okay not to like rules and since America which has all its 48 hence 50 countries not states is free we don't have to set rules especially for the one single quote s we own. That's right blogger number 4. Your parents should have known that before punishing your brother over a party. I bet they got the naughty list for that. The next day when Ben came home from Noah's house, my mom and dad were waiting for him. Someone had sent the pictures to them. Ben, do you have something to tell us? I'm so disappointed in your behavior last night. We trusted you. What are you guys talking about? We're talking about these, Benjamin. Pictures of you at a party with kids drinking. How could you act so irresponsibly and take our trust for granted? This is so unlike you. What's going on? Ben told our parents the truth about the party and that he didn't drink. But even though he explained what happened, they still punished him. Even though Ben wasn't drinking at the party, he was there. Oh man, this is gonna hey be guys. great. Oh, are we watching a movie? The lab results are back. You've tested positive yes, for nymphomania. Yes, this is Family oh, Guy. No. What should I do? Take two of these and call us in the morning. Here comes a villain we all know. Well, now that's not going to help the nymphomania. It's only going to exacerbate it. Oh my God, what are you kids doing? Out, everybody out. Ah, oh. Chris, what is this? Genital hospital? Yes, and it's inappropriate for someone your age. Now, if you're curious about sex, you should talk to your sex ed teacher. We don't have one. The principal cut sex ed class to save money. What? That's it. Little Bill, you are coming back home with us now. We are back home right now. There is no Black Friday for you, Little Bill. You know you are not allowed to leave the house while you're grounded. That's it. For your punishment, we will be going to the hospital to see your mother and father and I want you to tell your father how sorry you are for what you did yesterday. Uh, Alice the Great, it's 8 o'clock, and visiting hours don't start for another two hours. Okay, thank you Bobby. So at 10 a.m., we are driving straight to the hospital and little Bill is going to tell your father how sorry he is for getting a real turkey to attack him. Do you have anything to say to your dad? Okay dad, I owe you an apology. I am sorry I got a real turkey to attack you yesterday. Apology unaccepted. The doctors and nurses said that I have to stay here all the way until Sunday. All thanks to you. Don't worry Bill. Also, while you were resting here in the hospital, you and Brenda will never believe what little Bill did. What did he do? You know how today is Black Friday. Well, he snuck out of the house to go to Walmart while he is grounded. What? Oh my god, little Bill, how dare you sneak out of the house to go to Walmart on Black Friday? That's it, we are grounding you even longer than the Thanksgiving weekend. Let's make that two extra weeks longer after the Thanksgiving weekend. You hear that, little Bill? You're grounded for two more weeks after the Thanksgiving weekend. Bobby and I are super angry at you right now. Yeah, you tell him April. By the way, Aunt Deborah, where's Uncle...
That's it, little Bill. You are coming back home with us now. We are back home right now. There is no Black Friday for you, little Bill. You know you are not allowed to leave the house while you're grounded. That's it. For your punishment, we will be going to the hospital to see your mother and father and I want you to tell your father how sorry you are for what you did yesterday. Uh, Alice the Great, it's 8 o'clock, and visiting hours don't start for another 2 hours. Okay, thank you Bobby. So at 10 a.m., we are driving straight to the hospital and little Bill is going to tell your father how sorry he is for getting a real turkey to attack him. Do you have anything to say to your dad? Okay dad, I owe you an apology. I am sorry I got a real turkey to attack you yesterday. Apology unaccepted. The doctors and nurses said that I have to stay here all the way until Sunday. All thanks to you. Don't worry Bill. Also, while you were resting here in the hospital, you and Brenda will never believe what little Bill did. What did he do? You know how today is Black Friday. Well, he snuck out of the house to go to Walmart while he is grounded. What? Oh my god, little Bill, how dare you sneak out of the house to go to Walmart on Black Friday? That's it, we are grounding you even longer than the Thanksgiving weekend. Let's make that two extra weeks longer after the Thanksgiving weekend. You hear that little Bill? You're grounded for two more weeks after the Thanksgiving weekend. Bobby and I are super angry at you right now. Yeah, you tell him April. By the way, Aunt Deborah. Where's Uncle? Besides, I just drove up in this crazy souped up car that's poison bed. Wait, wait, wait. You were driving without adult supervision? Well, no, I was operating a remote. Oh, so it was a toy car. No, 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 it's a full-size, and it's... You were driving a full-size car? Oh, that's it, young lady. You're grounded. But, but, but the point... Candace, go to your room. We will talk about this later. Ugh! was weak. Wasn't our fault, boss. Herbie didn't show up. What? 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 Why weren't you at elf practice? Why weren't you at elf practice? Yeah, fixing these doll's teeth. What? Can run a temperature. We don't need any chewing dolls. I just thought I found a way to, to fit in. You'll never fit in. Your room. No dessert. You're grounded. Fine. dirty words. That is very disrespectful. You don't ever use those words. Trust can be received by tone of all types. That didn't go well between you and Gia cause you didn't accept her apology. When she got home, Gia was fuming. She wanted to get back at me and make me feel as hurt as she felt right that minute. Without even thinking about it, she got onto the computer and started posting horrible and mean things about me that weren't true. The next day, Gia found out firsthand what happens when you don't think before you act with your digital device. Hi, Sabrina. Why did you say all that mean stuff about me? It's not true. I'm so sorry. Leave me alone, Gia. You made it clear what you really think about me. I'm sorry, I just got some mad. You think you could just say those things about me just because you were mad? What you posted is out there forever, and everything
everyone saw it. I've been explaining to my friends and family all weekend. You ruined my reputation. I'm sorry. I guess I just didn't think about it that way. Well, you don't have to worry about me stealing a boy from you anymore, Gia. I don't want to be friends with someone like you. Another important rule on trust is letting others things whether it's a right or a privilege. Stephanie should know it's wrong to set trust limits with her things especially for safety or whatever else. I'm sure you remember how things went wrong when RJ Smith told his friend Max Davis that he wouldn't be at the skate park right away. How exactly did the burglars even see the post when they don't have access to RJ's account? It didn't turn out so well for her or for RJ. Mrs. Henson, what's going on? Why are you home so early? Well, RJ, someone broke into their house last night, and they did a lot of damage. The police are trying to find out who did it. That's awful, Mrs. Henson. It is. The police say that they're targeting people who post online that they're going on vacation. I don't even know how to do that. Uh, I think I might know how they knew. RJ explained what happened to Mrs. Henson. The police had to be contacted. It turns out they were able to find the burglars with the help of RJ's tip. But even though RJ told the truth, there were still some negative consequences to face. Because of his irresponsible behavior, RJ lost his computer privileges for the rest of the year.